All right, guys, really good win last episode. Really good win. Nice way to end the season, too. So uh, enjoy your winter, and I'll see you all for spring training. No, JJ, the season ends at uh, ALDS Game 5. It always has. There's more games. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to the ALCS. It's game one against the Detroit Tigers. We've never been this far before. Who knew the season went past the ALDS game five? Uh, and I'm very, very excited. We are every chance. We've had the best league in, uh, the best record in the American League this season. The Tigers had the second best record. So it is very much first versus second, the two best teams in the league. So let's get this underway and uh we'll check the lineups first of all of course and see who's playing game one of a championship series come on and this is it it is fletcher leading us off the grand slam hitting fletcher from game five he is off second base it is horner batting second at third smith bats third at first a designated hitter Corey sega cleans up it's joe adele in right field batting five jj in left field batting six marcelo mayer the shortstop bats seven kelly the catcher bats eight isbel in center field bats nine it is isaiah bennett on the mound for us he has had a really good season and of course he is uh well one of the one of our two stars now with tj pitching game five he's unavailable so basically isaiah bennett will take the number one slot tj will slip in to number three so that uh, tj will put a pitch a potential game seven it is jack walker on the mound for them let's have a look at all jack walker is quite good isn't he uh era this regular season of 426 a whip of 1.19 an era plus of 115 a war of 3.9 this looks like a very, very even pitching matchup. And to be honest, looking at the rest of the matchups, it looks like the Tigers might just have a slight advantage over us. But let's hope that that's incorrect. And here we go. Game one. It is Madrigal that is going to lead them off. Batting 556. He is so far this postseason. Let's hope that ends. And let's see what we can do. Bennett is he's a very good pitcher. A very good pitcher. But he has been taken into right field for a leadoff single which is not what we wanted it's Riley Green coming in now batting 263 a first pitch swing and that is lined straight to Smith at first base for one away Torkelson comes in now batting 176 that's a one-two pitch can we sit him down yes we can go on Isaiah two away now for Dominguez to come in who's batting 294 in the postseason it's a 1-0 it's a ground ball. Isaiah Bennett gets there quickly. Oh, can't get the play at first, though. It's a two-out single. Runners at first and second for Packard now, who is uh, having his first at bat of the postseason. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. It is popped up. And it is going to be caught out there by Joe Adele in right field. That ends the top of the first. Not perfect, but good enough. It's a Fletcher to lead us off. Batting 455. Left-handed pitcher on the mound for them. And Fletcher grounds a 2-0 pitch to first base for 108. In it will come Nico Horner batting 421. A full count on Nico. Horner gets it into left field. That's going to drop in and probably skip to the fence for a double. It is going to be a double. Nico Horner stands at second with a one-out double. And Dominic Smith comes to the plate batting 348. Of course, the ALDS MVP... And that is going to score a run. Nico Horner is going to round third. He's going home. And Smith does it again. An RBI single. And we take a 1-0 lead in the first. It's Corey Sager now batting 250 this postseason. It's 1-1. Sager up the middle. Is it in a good spot? It is. Corey with an infield hit. Two on, one out. Now for Joe Adele, who's batting 333. A full count. Adele strikes out. Two away. And that'll bring JJ to the plate, batting 500 so far in the postseason. And that is going to end the innings. But we take the lead, 1-0 to the Yankees. And it is Willie Castro to the plate, batting 3-12 for them so far this postseason. A first pitch swing. And Willie Castro pops it straight up. Any one of the infield could catch it. It's Nico Horner that gets there. And it's one away. It's Brian Anderson now, batting 2-11 in the postseason. A 2-1 pitch. And Bennett has given up at least a double there. It's into right field. Adele has it, gets it in. And it is indeed a one-out double for the Tigers. All right. Langoliers comes in now, batting 267. It's a 2-2 pitch. And it is again popped up. In comes Isbell. Should be simple enough. Runner will stay at second. Two away for Jordan Lawler who is batting 188 can we end the innings it's a 2-2 pitch 
And it's a strikeout to end the top of the second. Well done, Isaiah Bennett. Isaiah Bennett's injured. Oh dear, that means our bullpen has to come in. Hopefully it'll be Bobich. He's looked okay. He closed out last game well, didn't he? It brings Mayer to the plate to lead us off. 360 80s hitting so far in the postseason. And it'll be better than that now as he leads us off with a single into left field. Carson Kelly now, who came in for game five. He's won for four so far. And has he hit enough of that? Carson Kelly, it's deep. It's deep. It's gone! Carson Kelly with a two-run home run. 345 feet over a 344 foot fence and it's 3-0 to the Yankees and Isbell will come in now he's batting 111 so far this postseason it's a 2-2 pitch and Isbell up the middle is he going to be able to beat that he is he's quick as Kyle Isbell and that's an infield hit Fletcher now who's 0 for 1 will come in a 2-1 and they try to catch Isbell but he's awake and it's going to be 3-1. No, it's not going to be a full count. And it could be a double play. No, thankfully, Isbell is quick enough. And it is one away with a runner at second for Nico Horner, who's one for one. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. They've hit him. Unnecessary. And that is uh, two on one out for Dominic Smith, who's one for one. Dominic Smith strikes out for two away. And it brings Corey Sager to the plate, who is one for one. An infield hit for him last time. A 1-2. And Corey Sager, has he? No, it's not going to have the legs. Just couldn't get the power behind it. And that ends the second. But we're 3-0 up. And it is Casey Miser coming into pitch. Had a decent regular season for us. He's going to face Madrigal, who leads them off. He's one for one today. Miser. Oh, it's, it's an infield hit. It is. Oh, he goes two for two. And Riley Green will come up now. He's 0 for 1 to face Miser. An 0-2 pitch. Miser with a strikeout. One away. And Miser is out of the game. What is going on with our bullpen? Seth Elledge will come in. Now, Seth Elledge has an ERA of 54 this postseason. So a good chance to work on that. <laughs> oh, dear. And it's not getting any better, is it? A two-run home run for the Tigers in the top of the third. It's the top of the third. We're on our third pitcher of the game. Dominguez comes in. He's one for one. It's a one-two pitch. And that should be caught. Now, of course, the worry we have is with all these pitching injuries is how many of them are serious? Are these guys going to be back this series? Or are we going to have to... Yeah, DL people and... It throws our starting rotation into chaos if we lose Bennett as well. But anyway, we get out of that innings with a one-run lead. Adele will lead us off. He's 0-for-1, oh sorry, today. It's a 2-1 pitch, and Adele grounds at the shortstop for one away. In comes JJ, who's 0-for-1. Oh An 0-1 oh pitch. JJ gets it through the right side of the infield for a one-out single. He continues to have a wonderful postseason. In will come Mayer now, who's 1-for-1. One one, a, a, sorry, a 2-2 two -two pitch. And that might end the innings. No, it's just one. May is at first. Two away for Carson Kelly, who hit a two-run home run last time up. This time he pops it up. And that'll end the third. And for the first time this game, we haven't scored a run. And it's Elledge to face Castro. Elledge's ERA is down now to 33, despite giving up a two-run home run. That tells you how roughly how bad he's been. But he gets the first man there out at first. Excellent stuff. Anderson now, who's one for one, comes in. It's a one-two pitch. Come on, Sethy boy. Hits him. Silly. I mean, Elish has been really, really good. And uh, we'll have had to take him out of the game. It's an injury fest out there. It's Lengeles in the bat. He's 0 for 1. A 3-1. Please don't walk him, Seth. And it is a single into left field. So two on, one out. Lawler to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Come on, Seth. A 3 1. And that is. Don't do it. Top of the wall stuff. Seth Elledge has given up two more runs on a two RBI triple. We fall behind in the game. And like I say, Seth Elledge has been so good for us for so long. But this postseason is just not his time, is it? Madrigal now comes up. And that will keep the runner at third and be out at first. And Jordan Hicks will now come out of the bullpen. Uh, I mean, Hicks has done okay in the postseason. He was scoreless. He's won innings. It's a 1-2 pitch, and it's a strikeout for Jordan Hicks. 
Now, of course, the other downside to this is our bullpen is going to have a lot of work done in game one of a series where ideally they wouldn't have had much to do. We're going to, it's going to put us on the back foot for the rest of the series now, isn't it? Fletcher takes a 1-2 pitch, oh, sorry, a 2-1 pitch into right field for a one-out single. Nico Horner now is one for one steps in. Nico Horner, it's a loose pitch, and we'll get Fletcher over to second, and the tying run is in scoring position. It's a 2-2 pitch now. Horner strikes out. It'll bring Dominic Smith to the plate, and can he tie this game for us? He's one for two. A 2-2 pitch, and Smith strikes out. And we will enter the fifth innings, one run down. Hicks will face Torkelson, who hit the two-run home run last time up. It's a 3-0. Ooh, and it's a walk as well. A leadoff walk. In comes Dominguez, who's one for two to face Hicks. And that is popped up. Horner in foul territory makes the catch. One away for Packard now, who is 0 for 2. A 3-1, and we've walked another one. We can't walk batters how many times, guys? We've talked about this. Castro, who's 0 for 2, comes in. An 0-1 pitch. And that could be a double play. It is one, it is two, and that ends the innings. All right. Good job, boys. Good job. It'll be Sega to lead us off against their man, Santana, who's coming out of the bullpen. Sega is one for two. It's a full count. It's a right-handed pitcher, which will help our left-handed batting lineup. And Sega, unfortunately, though, has popped that up. And Sega not having a great postseason so far, is he? Only batting 261, which isn't bad, I suppose. Adele comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. Adele strikes out. He's having a poor day. That is two away for JJ now, who's one for two. And 0-1. JJ grounds at the first, and that'll end the innings. It is still 4-3 to the Tigers. We'll go to the sixth. And Hicks will continue to Segura, who is uh, having his first at bat of the postseason. And it's a strikeout as well. One away. Langoliers now, who's 1-4-2. It's a 1-2 pitch. Can Hicks strike him out? Yes, he can. All right, and Vessia will now come out of the bullpen. He's going to face Lawler, who is one for two with two RBIs. It's a 3-1. And it is... Oh, a diving catch out there in right field from Joe Adele. I thought that was leaving us. And Joe Adele has kept us in the game. It is Mayer to lead us off. He's one for two today. It's a 1-0. Mayer grounds at the second. That'll be one away. In comes Carson Kelly now, who's one for two. That one was a home run, of course, back in the second. He strikes out for two away. And it's going to bring Isbell to the plate now, who is one for two today. It's a first pitch swing from Kyle Isbell. Is that going to be run, Kyle? He does get there. He is quick. He's very, very quick. All right, Fletcher's at the plate. He's one for three. Is Isbell going to steal? No, Fletcher gets it up the middle, though. Is Isbell going to go over to third on that? Yes, he is. Runners at the corners with two away. That tying run stands at third for Nico Horner, who is one for two. Come on, Nico, tie us up. I don't know you need to swing at that, Nico. And we go to the seventh. Still a run down. Vesia to Madrigal, who is two for three. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. And it is over Isbell's head. And the leadoff man is at second. We do not want to fall any further behind in this game. Madrigal goes three for four. What a what a post he's having. But almost batting 600. Riley Green comes in now. He's 0 for three to face Vessier. It's a 1-0. It's a ground ball. That's going to get the runner over to third with one away. And it's Torkelson at the plate who is one for two. Vessier, come on, mate. It's a 1-2 pitch. Oh, dear. And for the second time today, Torkelson has cleared the fence. It's 6-3 now. And suddenly we look in a little bit of trouble. A lot of trouble. It's a 1-2 pitch. Dominguez gets the strikeout. That is two away. Packard is in now. He's 0 for 2. It's an 0-2 pitch. And that's going to drop in. That's going to be a two-out double. Our bullpen just isn't doing it for us in the postseason. I mean, Vesti is another one that's been brilliant in the po in the regular season, I should say. And uh, here that ends the innings. We stretch and we need three runs at a minimum. We need a big inning, don't we? We need a big inning, and it's Dominic Smith to lead us off. Let's make this the one, Dom. 
It's a 1-0 pitch. Come on, Smith. He has popped it up. 1-0-8. It'll bring Corey Sager to the plate. He needs to start showing up, doesn't he? He's 1-3 for three today. Come on, Corey. A 1-0 pitch. Corey Sager grounds it, and that'll be 2 away. And you get the feeling the seventh is going to be our big inning. Joe Adele, who's 0 for 3. He's going to strike out again and end it, isn't he? A 2-2 pitch. And there it is. When he's bad, Joe Adele is so, so bad. We go to the eighth. Vesieta face Segura, who's 0 for 1. It's a 2-1 pitch. It's a ground ball. Horner has it. Over to first. Nico and 1 away. Nick Robinson. Oh, I meant to take him out before this series started. Oh, Robbo, just don't be terrible, please, mate. I meant to take him out. I completely forgot. And it is now 7-3 to the Tigers. I don't understand what's happened to Robinson. When we first caught him into the majors, he was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And he is he's batting practice right now, it feels like. And I don't understand why that is. How do you get worse as you get older? I mean, not, I mean obviously, with, within reason. I mean, he's in his 20s. You shouldn't be getting worse as you get older. But he gets out of the innings okay, I suppose. But now we need four runs. Ty Madden comes into the game for them. He's going to face JJ, who's one for three. Can JJ get something going for us here in the eighth? We need something. We don't want to be good looking for four runs in the ninth. And JJ strikes out for one away. Marcelo Mayer now, who's one for three. It's an 0-2 pitch on him. And he watches strike three go past. And it's Carson Kelly now, who's one for three. And 0-1. Kelly grounds it to first. And that'll take us to the ninth. And it's a little bit of a case of everything that could go wrong has gone wrong on the pitching front, hasn't it? We went through three pitches in the first... Oh, for f sake. A regulation ground ball. Runner at first. Torkelson looking for three home runs. He strikes out. Thank Christ for that. You would have put money on him hitting Robinson into the... F <laughs> Dominguez, he pops one up. That should be two away. It should be the innings over. But it's not because of that Fletcher error. And Packard comes in now. It's a 2-1 pitch. And Packard as no, he hasn't. It's going to be caught out there, please. Adele, yes. And we need to we need work done in the bottom of the ninth. We need four runs. Isbell will lead us off. He's two for three today. It's a 1-0. And Isbell, run, Kyle, run. One away. Fletcher, who owes us for the error. He's two for four today. It's a 1-0 pitch. Come on, Fletch. Fletcher gets it through. All right, there's a base runner. It brings Horner to the plate now. He's one for two. It's an 0-2. Oh, Horner strikes out. We're down to our final out. It's Dominic Smith. He's one for four. Come on, Smith. Full count. Smith ends the game. And that has been a disaster. We lose game one. And potentially even worse than that, Miser. Injury pending. It could be serious. It's not just a little silly knock. And we have the same thing with Isaiah Bennett as well. So, I mean, we, we could not have got off to a worse start. And with Marley up next, and then we go to Detroit. This might be a very, very quick championship series, unfortunately. But... It's just one game. It's just one game. We win our next game. We can win it. We, we can win a game in Detroit, and then we know we're coming back to New York, and we, like what we did there. We won all our home games. We have home ground advantage. As long as we do that, well, we have to win a game in Detroit now. But anyway, we'll see. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Let me know what you think is going to happen the rest of this series. We'll be back when there's a chance for a team to progress. I'm really hoping we're not back for game four, but the way that went, you wouldn't put it past us, would you? Take care.